All right, today um, we're going to start with a little quiz. So right here, if you don't have paper, come get you some out of here. And while you're up, if you don't have your paper, go ahead and grab your workbooks that are right back there. Right here on the table, guys. Everybody got paper? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Noah. Alright, we'll use the workbooks later, but it was just a good time for you all to go ahead and get them. Alright, so um, we're going to take a test now. You've got your lined, lined paper, number it from 1 to 10. Do we need to No, just 1 to 10, all the way down. And okay, make sure your name's at the top too, please. So write each word that I define, okay? Write each word I define. Word one is a verb. That means get, get, write it. means the body system of bones. The body system of bones. Write it. Word number three means the bone that covers the brain. The bone that covers the brain. Write it. Number four. Word four is a verb. That means look at. Look at. Write it. Number five is a verb. That means build. Build. Write it. Think of all the words we went over yesterday, guys. It's okay. Let's try the, try the best you can on the spell, but as long as we can get the gist of it. Word number six means the bones that cover the organs in the chest. The bones that cover the organs in the chest. Write it. Word number seven is a verb. That means choose. Choose. Write it. Word eight is a verb that means guard. Guard. Write it. Number nine means the backbone. The backbone. Write it. Our last one, we should all be on number ten. 
Word number 10 means a word that tells the action that things do. Tells the action that things do. Write it. Okay, when you think you've got all 10 and you're done, let's ex exchange your papers. You've got all 10, just exchange them with somebody across from you. If you all do it, just do it an extra time. Do all trade? Trade? Okay, don't write in for your neighbor or anything like that. Just listen. So here's what we're going to do. I'll read the words, starting from 1 and going to 10. Put an X next to each word that the person misses. Do not put an X next to misspelled words. It's okay if they misspell a word. Just ask me if you can't read their, the word with their spelling. <clears throat> Number one, obtain. Number two, skeletal system. Number three, skull. Number four, examine. Number. I have a question. Sure. Is that okay for uh, observing? Observing for what? Number four? Yeah. No. Number four is examined. Number five, construct. Number six, ribs. Number seven, select. Number eight, protect. Number nine, spine. And number 10, verb. If they got all of them right, put a plus five on top of their paper. Anybody get them all right? Got somebody that did? Good. Okay, I'll take them. Thank you. Thank you. You're okay. We'll be on, it'll be on video, so we'll know. <laughs> That's the best part about it. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, get ready to answer some questions about a sentence. <clears throat> okay? You all do this all the time. Um, so listen, animals are frequently awake in the middle of the night. Animals are frequently awake in the middle of the night. Say that. Animals are frequently awake in the middle of the night. Say that. Animals are frequently awake in the middle of the night. Come on, say it with me. Animals are frequently awake at night. Don't omit words. You have a habit of doing that, Rewasi. Yeah. You are checking out in the middle of. You're just saying at night. No. He's saying it. He's saying it. You do this when I'm doing it too. We want you to say word for word what he says. You you pick and choose and omit, which means leave some words out. So let's try that again. Animals are frequently awake in the middle of the night. Say that. Good. Okay. So when are animals frequently awake? Right. So are animals always awake in the middle of the night? Are animals always awake? Uh, no, no. Right? Are animals often awake in the middle of the night? What are frequently awake in the middle of the night? Are people awake in the middle of the night? No, we don't know. Maybe you're right, we don't. Are Maybe. some are people awake in the middle of the night? Maybe. Maybe, good. How often are animals awake in the middle of the night? Good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Here's a rule. Sally has every kind of container. Everybody say that rule. Sally has every kind of container. 
Sally has every kind of container. A bottle is a container. So, she has a bottle. She has a bottle. Sally has every kind of container. A bottle is a container. So, Sally has a bottle. Good. My turn to say the, the whole thing. Sally has, ne has every kind of container. A bottle is a container. So, Sally has a bottle. All by yourselves, say the whole thing. I'll say it one more time. Sally has every kind of container. A bottle is a container. So, Sally has a bottle. Sally has Sally has Hold on, all together. Sally has, go. Sally has a container. A bottle is a container. So she has a bottle. Yeah, a bottle is a container. So Sally has a bottle. Okay. Okay. Exercise number four. Obtain. What does obtain mean? Get. Get. It means get. What word means get? Obtain. 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 Good. Okay, so listen. Sally got an old bike. Sally obtained an old bike. Sally got an old bike. Say that. Sally got an old bike. Okay. Now say that sentence with a different word for got. Sally obtained a different bike. Good. Sally, Sally obtained an old bike. Okay. Okay, so Sally got an old bike. We said that. Now say the sentence with a different word we used to obtain, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Sally obtained an old bike. Examine. What does examine mean? To look, look at. To look at. To look at. What word means look at? Examine. 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 Okay, so listen. The pitcher is examining her glove. Say that. The pitcher is examining her glove. Right. The pitcher is examining her glove. Now say the sentence with different words for examining. The pitcher is examining her glove. Say louder. Uh, the pitcher is looking. Good. The pitcher is looking at her glove. Any other words for examining besides look? I mean looking? Check it out. Checking out. There you go. I like that one. I like that one. Hey, the pitcher is looking at her glove. Good job. Okay. Here's a rule. Thank you. Here's a rule. Most people have 206 bones. So, most people have 206 bones. Everybody say that rule. Most people have 206 bones. One more time. Okay, so now listen. Most people have 206 bones. Frank is a person, so... Yeah, 206 bones. I mean, most people have. Maybe. Use the word maybe. So maybe Frank has 206 bones. Most people have 206 bones. Jan is a person, so... Maybe. Maybe she has 206 bones. Okay, new rule. Some cars have six cylinders. Some cars... Have six cylinders. Everybody say that. Okay. Some cars have six cylinders. Sports cars are cars, so maybe it has six cylinders. Maybe. Maybe. Right? Which time? Because if you drive like Miss Precise car, she's got a Corvette, she's got like eight cylinders, and it's a sports car, you know? It's blind to you. So you just gotta watch her. So listen, some cars have six cylinders. Pickup trucks are trucks. So, now hold on. What have we been saying about that rule? The rule from number four was some cars have six cylinders. So we moved on, and now it says some cars have six cylinders. Pickup trucks are trucks. So, 
So nothing. It's right. not a car, right? It's a truck. Not a trick question. New rule. Verbs do not name a person. Everybody say that. Right. Verbs do not name a person. Verbs do not name a person. Green is not a verb. So? Good, nothing. It can't do anything. Verbs do not name a person. Sings is a verb. So? Sings does not name a person. It tells, what does a verb do? It tells what? Action. Yeah. What they're going to do. Alright, get your um, workbooks out and turn it to lesson 10. So we're going to start up here at the top, under A. I'll read the sentence and you underline the part and the names of each sentence. So we're going to do just like we normally do and do the, and do the circle around all the nouns and a box around all the verbs. We're not going to just do, going to do one verb if there's multiple or just one noun. So. We'll start with number one. The boy was walking in the yard. You'll need to underline the part that names in each sentence. Underline the part that names. Number two. The boys were walking in the yard. Number two. The boys were walking in the yard. Number three. The boys were in the yard. Number four, the boys had a large yard. The boys had a large yard. Number five, this day is very warm. Number six, yesterday was hotter. Number seven, the street feels warm. Number eight, his mother was going home. Number nine, his sister carried a large bag. Okay, so you, <clears throat> excuse me. So now, if, have you underlined the part that names in each sentence? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go on. Let's start with sentence one, maybe. Read sentence one for me. Yep. What part did you underline? The boy. The boy. Everybody, did you get that? Mm -hmm. The boy. Okay. Do we need to go through each one of them? No. No? One more? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do number two. The boys were walking in the yard. What What did you underline? The boys. The boys. The boys. Good. Sentence three. The boys were in the yard. What did you underline? The boys. The boys. Boys. What about number four? Yes, boys. Yeah. What about in number five? Yes, Good. What about number six? Yesterday. Yep, yesterday only. That's the only thing you can underline in that one. What about number seven? The street. The street. The street. Number eight? His okay. mother. Right. Number nine? Good. Okay, you've learned about two parts of speech. Listen, what part of speech names persons, places, or things? What's it called that names person, place, or thing? Now, good. Okay. What part of speech tells an action? Verb. Yep, we just went over those, right? So listen, what part of speech are the words is, was, and has? Is, was, and has. What kind of words are those? 
Mm -hmm. Verse. Good job. Okay, so we're going to go back to sentence one up there. Okay? The boy was walking in the yard. What's the part that tells more? Was walking. Good. Was walking. So what's the verb? Was walking. Was walking. Good. Sentence two. The boys were walking in the yard. What's the part that tells more? We're walking. We're walking. We're walking. The boys were in the yard. What's the part that tells more? Were. Were. They were in the yard. Exactly. The boys had a large yard. What's the verb? Had. Had. Yeah. The day is very warm. What's the part that tells more? Is. Is. Good job. Why wouldn't it be is very? Why, why is it just is? Huh? Sort of. Yesterday was hotter. What's the part that tells more? Was. The street feels warm. What's the verb? Feels. His mother was going home. What's the verb? Yeah, not just going. It's got to be was going, right? His sister carried a large bag. What's the verb? Carry. Okay. okay, so the next part, circle the noun in each part that names. Make a box around the verb in each sentence. Do that now. So a circle goes around the noun, a box goes around the verb. And remember, you can do, have multiple verbs or multiple nouns, just depends. If you circled, if you did the opposite and circled the verb, just, just keep on that same path, okay? We'll get it. Circle or squares on the nouns and the verbs, depending on how you did it on your paper. So we already did number one together. Let's do number two. What's the answer to number two? What's the nouns? Boy and yard. Yep. And what's the verbs? Boy walking. We're walking. Good. Number three. What's the noun? Boy and yard. What's the verb? Where? You know what I mean? Number four. Boys and yard. Boys and had, right? Had. Anything else, any other verbs in there besides had? Yard. Verb? Yard. Yard's a noun. Were? Anything? Part B when we're still on part A and part C. Okay, number six. What are the nouns and verbs? Yesterday and was. The two I have. Are there any more? No. No. Number seven. Street. Feels. What's another noun in there? Warm. Warm. Good. Number eight. Mother was. was going. Would be your verb. And is there any other nouns? Home. 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 You have to circle. <clears throat> Either one. If you're circling all the verbs and putting a box around all the nouns, or you could do it vice versa. Any way that. Just keep it consistent with every number. Number nine, sister and carry. Is there anything else? Bag. Good. Would large be anything? 
had a chance. Good. All right. So we're going to part B now. That'd be right below part A. The mitt is blank his hand. Everybody, what word goes in the blank? Protector. Protecting. Good. Number two. That shop was blank by a dog. Protected. Everybody, what word goes in the blank? Protected. 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 E-D. Right. Your ribs blank your chest. Protect. Yep. Protect. Your chest is blank by your ribs. Everybody, what word goes in the blank? Protected. The tree was blank us from the wind. Protecting. Good. Protecting. Okay, we all got those, right? I all got them down. All right, let's go to part C. Okay, look at part C. All of those sentences have two nouns. One is in the part that names. The other noun is in the end of the sentence. Kind of just like what you did in part A. Sentence one, the girl ran to the store. Say the noun in the part that names. The noun. Say the noun in the part that names. The girl ran to the store. The girl was doing. Just girl. Just no. in the part that names. All right. Oh. There's another noun in that part. Store. Ran to the store. What word in that part names a person, place, or thing? Uh, girl. Store. store. Yeah, girls in the beginning, which we said. Now stores at the end. Okay, so store and girl. Sentence two, my mother sat under that tree. Say the noun in the part that names. My mother. Just mother, my not mine, just mother. Good, and what's the second one? Tree. Tree. Tree, good. The third one, the man ate the hamburger quickly. Say the part that names. Just man. Man, period, not the. Just man. Listen to the part that tells more. Ate the hamburger quickly. What's the noun? Sandwich. Hamburger. 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 Where do you see sandwich in there? That's not sandwich. The sandwich. The man ate the sandwich. The man ate the hamburger quickly? Cheeseburger. <laughs> mine says hamburger. I mean, mine says hamburger. Every now and then that'll happen. Like it's, it'll be printed different. It's rare, but yeah. So, so sandwich and hamburger. Yeah, I like hamburgers better. Doris read the book very slowly. Say the noun that parts the name. Doris. 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 Not read, just Doris. And then what's the second one? Book. Yep. Book names the thing. Number five, my brother loves Doris. Brother. brother is the first one, yep, and Doris is the second one. If we had to name a verb in there, what would it be? Love. Good. Love. Love, yes, you're right. Number six, many people live in Chicago. People in Chicago. Yep. People in Chicago. Five cats slept in the sun. Cats. 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 Oh, is, the, is the first one, and sun is the second one. Yep. Sam rode through the gravel very carefully. 
What's your first one? Um, Sam. Sam, Gravel. good. What's your second one? Gravel. Gravel, good. All right, so number one, we said we underline which two, I'm sorry, number two, which two do we underline? Mother and tree. Good. Number three. Which two do we underline in number three? Man and hamburger. Man and hamburger. Number four. Uh, four, door, something. Yep. Number five. Um, boy and door. Brother? Boy and door. Yeah, brother and door, yep. Number six. Yeah, just people, not many. Number seven? Cats. Cats and son. Number eight? Sam and gravel. Sam and gravel. Everybody got that? Yeah. Yes? Okay. If an object helps you do a job, what class is it in? Tools. Tools. Good. Tools. If an object is made to take things places, what class is it in? Vehicles. Vehicles. Good. So I'll read the instructions for part D. Circle each container. <coughs> Underline each plant and cross out each animal. So you got three things to do. Circle each container. Underline each plant and cross out each animal. Go ahead. Remember, we are circling each container, underlining each plant, and crossing out each animal. There could be an X or a line, either or. Okay, you finish. Actually, we'll do E together. Then you all can finish F, G, and H real quick after we're done, okay? Okay, so is everybody done with D? Everybody crossed everybody out, circled everybody, or put a line under them? Huh? Great. Okay, let's go to E. So we're going to write femur, humerus, pelvis, ribs, skull, and spine. That's what we can choose from. So number one, if it's down in your leg, what is it? The what? Humerus. The humerus, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't your humerus be somewhere else? Femur. Femur, good. Okay, so write, write femur for number one. What would number two be with the picture of number two? Big skull. Skull, good. So number three, that's up here. When you hit it, it makes you do what? They say it's supposed to make you laugh, but does it ever make you laugh? Sometimes. Yeah. It doesn't make me laugh. Humorous. It makes me cry. Humorous. Humorous. Number four in the picture, the thing that holds us up every day. Spine. Spine, good job. Number five. 
Your hips are otherwise known as what? Pelvis. Pelvis, good. And the very bottom one, what's on your sides? Ribs. Ribs. Sides. Yeah, they go all the way around. So uh, let's go do F on your own. F's easy. And do G and H on your own. And then I'll look at them when we're done. Okay? Let me guess, you already did it. Yes. Read the directions right. Draw a horizontal line. Which way is horizontal? Right. So if it's a draw, draw a horizontal line at the top of the box. Are you sure, eraser? How? But I can check these. Well, let's start with that one. Let's just start up. Let's make a new box. Yeah. So look, if a horse says draw a horizontal line at the top of your box, right? Okay. So what's what's the next thing say? Draw a vertical line down the left, all the way down the left. It don't have to be all the way, but you know, mimicking that line. Draw a vertical line down from the right end of the horizontal line. Yep. Then draw a horizontal line connecting the two vertical lines. Right. It's a small box. It's a small box. <laughs> that makes no difference. <laughs> Can you check these then? It's the same thing. <laughs> Sorry, we do that for three seconds. Three. You can put your uh, put your workbooks back in the back whenever you're done. And guys, we have about 15 minutes left or so. Everybody, get something to work on. Yes. yes. Yeah, like if you have a study guide for another class, this is the time to do that. Yep, we need we have finals next week. All your study yeah. guides are due, your homework is due, all that stuff. Get, get that out and get started yes. on it. If you, if you forgot to bring something in today, please let me know. This is a free time. Yeah, it's not jam or music time. You can have some more candy. I got a little bit left. Yeah. For science? Yeah. Um, do you want to trade for yeah. I ain't getting nothing. I don't have that much stuff left. Pick a pan of some whoppers. I gotta get. Put your book on the Well, make sure you put your book on the Oh, yeah. I think we might be 
some whoppers if you want to do it uh, last class. Just log out and then log back in under you. You got something to work on? Yeah. Drums? Alright, let's do it out. It's time to catch up before next week comes around. Finals week. Lucky bit. Don't chew on it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> For a couple of Do you have any other classes to work on? Do that, please. If you are working on the same study guide as somebody else for a class and you want to work together or you have questions, please ask us what we're here for.
Let me know if you need any help with anything. Math's not my strong suit. Just FYI.